In this video, we are going to share a couple ways to use the inside pop-up hugs die. It looks closest to a traditional pop-up card among the products we released this time, but instead of spending hours on a card like this, you will be able to make these pop-up inserts in a few minutes. The easiest way would be to trim your cardstock to four and a quarter by five and a half inches. Use a T-roller to help you tape the letter straight. We are leaving about half an inch at the bottom, but you can leave more room if you prefer. After die cutting, you will have dash lines to help you make the fold. The longest line here indicates the final fold line when adding the insert to your card. We recommend folding up the little tabs along the line first. Then use the end of your T-roller to separate the letters along the base. Use the edge of the T-roller to help you fold at the dash line along the bottom and the top of the letters. Any ruler or tip of scissors or even a pen would work here. Once you get all the folds started, you can slowly press down on the back of the cardstock to make it flat. You can leave the insert as is or trim to any size you want, but we recommend leaving at least a quarter of an inch at the top and bottom for adhesive. Trim off any parts that might show when added to your card base. Ta-da! Easy peasy, right? If you want to keep your insert in a full piece like this, we have a few tips to share as well. Trim your letter-sized cardstock in half. That's five and a half inches by eight and a half inches. Do not score the insert. Use the T-roller and score the outside card base to help you find the center line for lining up the die to cut out the letters. You will probably still need to trim the insert so it doesn't show when the card is closed. Similar to our inside pop-up stacks die, only add adhesive to the front of the insert to leave room for everything to stay flat when folded. Here's a quick comparison of both looks. We like them both and hope you will too. We can see this assembly being more challenging than other designs we have in this release. If you are interested in easier ways to do inside pop-ups, check out our other videos linked in the description below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again soon.